Ever. Number one, baby. All day. Number one, baby. Thank you so much. Hello, guys. Uh, one more time. I keep my focus, <laughs> but I'm happy my family is here. Uh, my father made it to the stage. <laughs> my nephew, my friends. Uh, there's more people coming, but thank you for being here and being part of the EC. And can't wait. I was the champ for 966 days, and it's been more than 850 days without me having a bed and me having the third check already. So what does it mean? That I'm the check for a reason. And I'm the pretender for a reason. I'm a challenger for a reason. And I'm going to become a champ one more time. <laughs> and then you will do time. Doesn't matter. Like, remember this. All the fighters, when you step into the octagon, you can take second place. Every single person. Doesn't matter if your hands, if your hand is raised, in the victory or not, you're the winner, you're not the loser. You keep on trying, there's another chance for everyone, every single person. So remember about that, okay? Let's eat some shit today. So yeah, how does uh, this title challenge feel different compared to when you first fought with the belt a few years ago and then the Rose Navi Yunus rematch? I can I can I can say I'm more hungry because I'm always hungry. I love to challenge myself and I I it's not only about willing to put on work but it's all about putting on actual work and I'm super excited to be in this spot. I've been working so hard to be here, be the pretender the challenger for the uh, UFC strawweight belt again and I'm I'm super happy, you know. I'm I was so motivated, uh, so disciplined and uh, there was nothing between, you know. Yona, there was um, some concern in Tampa about your weight during fight week. Um, and it was the easiest weight cut in Tampa. And this time I woke up 123, guys. So it's like nothing. If you ask the fighters, it's like nothing. Probably I will just break a sweat this uh, tonight. And uh, I'm still drinking two gallons of liquid every, every single day. Eating uh, three meals a day, two snacks. Uh, Clint uh, from Performance Institute is an amazing guy, but I'm using my knowledge as well, and uh, it's it's amazing, you know. So I will don't have to do a bath. I will don't have to go to the sauna. It, it, there is not going to be impact on my body, my mind. I'm not going to stress my body and mind. So I will recover faster after the wins and 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 and. Be ready, man. Be ready. Why is it so much easier now than it was? Because you had a hard time for, yeah. for many years, making yeah. one You know, wrong people. You know, because like in this business, like when you, when you make it to the top and you, when you're the champ, you, <laughs> there is so many obligations, so many stuff. And I always willing to do and more and more and more. But sometimes you need people around to help you. You know, you need an assistant. You need a good management. Finally, I, I found a good management company because you know that I've been with a few different people. But Valenji Group and, and Jennifer, who is responsible for me, Lloyd, they are they are putting on a hell of a work, and I'm very blessed blessed with them. But the other thing is like same with the nutritionists. You know, they trying things. You know, but. They, they were never an athlete, you know, maybe they, 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 they read the books about, uh, but it's a science for them, you know, eat, eat, you're gonna be fine, no, at the end, we fighters have to struggle, you know, I broke my hand uh, two times, fight after the fight, you know, uh, because of the wrong uh, uh, diet, you know, and I used to like, you know, I'm happy that I'm alive after what happened in New York before Rose fight, you know, the first Rose fight. So, just the knowledge, I'm more smart, I trust, I listen to my body more and I trust myself more. She has been through uh, a lot of stuff during this training camp, she had to move like twice, like she was up through the training camp, she has to yep. leave her country. Um, you're someone who likes to get in opponent's heads uh, before the fight. Does this make you not want to do it? Do you think that she's kind of been through enough or are you going to still try to get in her head? She has, she has been through, through enough, you know, I love my country and uh, you know, I, I can only imagine how she feels about it, you know, how she's feeling about that. But uh, it is what it is, you know. Sometimes uh, life looks like this, you know. And, and I remember my first title fight, and uh, UFC called me like three weeks before the fight, and they said like, "Hey, you need to pack your stuff, and in two days we need you in LA, we need you in Vegas, we need you in Dallas." And I was like, oh, "What the heck? I need to be focused on on uh, on training, uh, finish my camp." But you know, we all have to go through this, you know. When you become the UFC champion. Uh, champion of simply the best uh, MMA organization in the world. You need to deal with all of this, you know. But uh, of course, it was not her, uh, not her uh, 
fault that she had to travel so much, but you know, sh she's finally here. It's been two weeks. She could adjust to the time, to the climate. Uh, I think we are going to put on hell of a uh, fight, and it's going to be the best uh, strawweight fight in the UFC history. You one of the uh, yes. So many sporting events have been kind of shut down at yeah. different schools, yeah. different events because of that yes. virus. I know. Have you changed the way you approach things with either fans or your workouts or anything? Yeah. Like yes, yes, I do. Like especially in Europe, uh, this coronavirus got really crazy. People are really panicking, you know. In Poland, like uh, in Italy, the situation is very bad, and in Switzerland, in Poland as well, you know. And people canceling the, the, the traveling trips, holiday, and uh, the business is going down. So it's really crazy. And I feel like in the States, you don't feel it that much, you know. But uh, I'm blessed. I'm very happy that, uh, you know, after working so hard for so many weeks, finally I can uh, step on big stage here in Vegas and uh, show what I've been working for so many weeks. So definitely, I feel, I feel very happy. Have you changed any of your approach in terms of like shaking hands with fans or Oh, no, 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 come on, it's all about, uh, no, I'm trying to be safe, you know, it's important to not get uh, any infection before the fight, because I usually like, I'm a very clean person, you know, so, uh, no, 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 you know, if, if something, if something gonna happen, it's going to happen, you know, it doesn't matter what, you know, so I don't want to stay home and like cover myself, put a mask or, or, or use hand sanitizer all the time. No, I'm trying to like prevent some things, but I'm not crazy about it. Well, uh, well, like... Yeah, you know, my, 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 my family has been traveling with me always. Uh, my sister, uh, she, uh, my, my twin sister came down here, my older sister stay home with mom. But my nephew is here. It's first time my father is to the States and he was to my first title defense, uh, what was in Berlin in 2015. But uh, man, I'm super happy to have him here. I'm proud of him because I know how much energy uh, it cost him. Uh, he was Before he was only on, on one plane like to Denmark from Poland. It's like one and a half hour. This trip was long to LA, from also to LA. And they got here last night very late. But. I'm very happy and it's like big support, you know, so good to have him here, my best friends, family, I'm so blessed with that, you know, it's extra power. Last question, guys. Joanna, she said she, this fight isn't She's going go. to knock me out. Yeah, yeah, this fight won't go five rounds, yeah. but you have a so lot of... So that's why I got like, nice, this is what I was missing in my last fight. You know, when I step into the octagon, you know, and I always walk like this, I was like, ooh, JJ, it's time. It's time, and you know, I respect uh, all the fighters, and I love Michelle Waterson, love you again, all the best, and uh, the thing is that I need this uh, sports, sports violence, you know, I need this aggression, so her saying this, that's what's up, you know, Je Jessica Andrade said the same, that she was going to knock me out. These girls, they look that short, they look muscular, they look uh, so powerful. She has this power, you know, but I know how to avoid it, you know, she can try, she can face the best in the business and she knows that she needs me uh, to make this money and become a superstar of the strawway division in the UFC, you know. And there are, going pe there, there are people who who doubting me or they're going to do that, but my legacy is so big, you know, so that's the, that's the thing. But so she's her saying this and he me hearing this, I feel like, okay, this got real. Let's go. Let's rock and roll on Saturday. It doesn't matter what I'm going to say. It doesn't matter what she's going to say. It's all about the fight on Saturday. You know? And I know how well prepared I am. How do you see it unfolding? Uh, the fight? Yeah. I want to make her quit. I'm a real fight runner. I've been through so many fights. It's my 14th fight in the UFC, 10th for the belt. I did. I had a few five rounds fights, and I'm a naturally gifted uh, fighter athlete with such a good condition. And I want to make them quit. You know, I want to make her quit and beg me to stop. You know, and this is what's going to happen. You know, of course, one punch can fin can finish the fight, but I know that I'm ready for anything and everything. And I don't want to be this person who is going to say like, I will knock you out, I will submit you. No, it's not a lottery. You know, uh, you have to take fight second by second. That's it. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. That's it guys. Can I let my body rest? Feels so great. Any questions? Sure.
But you know, I'm very happy I did that. Maybe in the future, why not? <laughs> what round uh, am I going to take her down? What round? Um, let's be. Let's see. I'm still Saturday, man. Uh, you know what? She said that she's going to knock me out. But, like Jessica Rush said the same, you no? Know? And I was like, yeah, finish the fight in the first round via yeah, submission or knockout. Would be great. Then you go and celebrate, eat in and out and go by the wild wings, drink this champagne. But I wanna, I've been working so hard and I wanna, I just wanna go there and make her quit. She only looks like, mark my words, I will outclass her on Saturday. Show. 